We're here on Radio Row at the Democratic National Convention, where all the big guns are brought in to do interview after interview for stations around the country. I'm Kim Spencer from Link TV, and we ran into Iraq veteran Paul Rykoff, who leads a major veterans group, and being interviewed by Air America's Rachel Maddow. Our message is that uh, veterans' issues are really, really important. Uh, we need America to understand that veterans' issues need to be a priority, uh, not just on Veterans Day, but every day. So we're here with a group of veterans to force the Democrats to talk more about VA funding, talk more about post-traumatic stress disorder, talk more about how they're going to get VA health care to rural areas, how they're going to take care of National Guardsmen and reservists. Uh, we also did a big community service event this morning with Michelle Obama and the Obama family. Uh, the girls were there. Mrs. Obama's mother was there. Uh, her brother Craig was there. And uh, we stuffed about 300 care packages that we're going to send to the troops in Iraq and Afghanistan, had veterans and military families from all over Denver there. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing in Minneapolis next week. So we'll be pounding away in the media, trying to get folks to focus on uh, the about 2 million folks who have been through uh, Iraq and Afghanistan since 9-11. And uh, not just talk about the war, but how the war affects people on a very human level, which I think has is, is really been un unreported. And hopefully we'll change after Tammy and, uh, Duckworth and Patrick Murphy talk tonight, who are two Iraq vets who are going to be in prime time. What's the big story that the media are missing here? Uh, the big story that the media is missing, I mean, I'm a little biased, but I'd say it's the veterans working in the convention. You've got um, veterans who are pro-war, anti-war, uh, and you've got groups like ours that are neutral, that are working on veterans' issues. You've got the IVAW, the Iraq Vets Against the War, are outside every day. Uh, they're protesting, they're organizing, they're raising their voice. And you've got a pro-war group inside uh, called Vets for Freedom. Uh, they launched an attack at him, Barack Obama, this week, and Pete Hegseth, their executive director, is working the halls. And then you've got uh, me and my team that are here. Obama's staff has a team. But there's got to be, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan who are working the convention, who are networking, who are talking to the media, who are talking to delegates, and who are trying to raise the issues of the war and the issues that veterans are facing. So I still think that's really underreported. You haven't seen much talk about the war at all, really, so far in the first couple of days of the convention, and you definitely haven't heard them talk about veterans. So I think it's tremendously unreported. Now, both, both candidates are talking about change. For you, what would change look like? Wow, change would look like uh, something other than the Bush administration. I think that, that, that's going to be change. Uh, for us, change would be a fully funded VA. Change would be uh, a president that cares about veterans' issues and talks about them and makes them a priority. Uh, change for me would be somebody like Tammy Duckworth, uh, a double amputee and female helicopter vet, uh, as the secretary of the VA. That would be change. We saw Max Cleland after Vietnam, a triple amputee, a decorated officer after Vietnam, was appointed by Jimmy Carter to head the VA. He totally reformed the way we care about veterans uh, and the way we honor veterans. So that was change. And if you put somebody like Tammy Duckworth at the helm, whether it's John McCain or Senator Obama, you know, I don't care. Either one of them should name Tammy or somebody from this next generation to head our nation's efforts on veterans. So I think that would be real change. Thank you for watching this Link TV special, What Change Looks Like. See the full schedule at linktv.org slash change.